Okay, welcome back. This is Mr. Hassan's math channel, and I'm now answering question number four from the January 2022 International A Level Edexcel Pure Mathematics P1 paper. And this question here is about this curve and this straight line, and the straight line called L. They've told us um, that the line with the equation x plus y equals 6. So we know the equation of the line and a curve C with equation y equals 6x minus 2x squared plus 1. So we also know the equation of the curve. Okay, um, and the line intersects the curve at the points P and Q as shown in the diagram. Find using algebra the coordinates of P and the coordinates of Q. So we want to find where these two intersect. We want to find where these two intersect. And so basically we have to solve simultaneously the equations x plus y equals 6 and y equals 6x minus 2x squared plus 1. So solve, to solve these equations simultaneously, what we must do is use substitution. So for example, I can take this first equation here and make, for example, y the subject. So y is equal to x, um, y is equal to 6 minus x, sorry y is equal to 6 minus x. And then I can substitute y equals 6 minus x into the second equation. So I can replace the, the y with 6 minus x. Now when I substitute one equation into the other, I have something which I can now um, solve. And this will tell me the places where they intersect. So when I solve this equation, it will give me the x coordinates of the points of intersection. That's what it's going to tell me now. All right, so that's what I have to do here. So to solve this equation, I, it's, I see it's a quadratic equation. Um, so I'm going to make it say equals zero. So I can try to use the zero product property. So I will add 2x squared to both sides. And I'll add and I'll take away 6x from both sides to, to, to get rid of the 6x from this side. So it'll be minus 7x. And I will take away 1 from both sides. So that'll be plus 5 equals 0. So I've added 2x squared, I've taken away 6x, and I have um, took, taken away 5, uh, so taken away 1 from both sides, and I end up with this equation. This is a quadratic equation, which um, it looks like I can solve it using factorizing. I like to use this method here, or this way of factorizing these blocks. Okay, so I'm going to write down my 2x squared in the top left and my plus 5 in the bottom right. These two numbers multiply to give me 10x squared. And I need to find two numbers here which also give me the same product of these two. But their sum must be minus 7x. So two numbers that multiply to give you 10 and add to give you minus 7. It's minus 2x squared, minus 2x and minus 5x. That gives me negative 10x squared and it gives me negative 7x when I add them. So that's pretty simple. So the common factor here is x. x times 2x is 2x squared. x times minus 5 is minus 5x. And 2x times minus 1 is minus 2x. So I end up with my factors x minus 1 and 2x minus 5 equals 0. There's plenty of ways you can factorize. You can do guess and check. You can do split the middle term. This is a, a, a kind of like a kind of an alternative splitting the middle term method. But the same thing in the end. So x equals 1 and x equals 5 over 2. What you can't do, what you can't do and you'll lose marks for, is if you just put you, you put this in your calculator um, and using the solving equation function, just write down x equals 1, x equals 5 over 2. You can't do that. That will definitely lose you marks. Here, so here you've got x minus 1 equals 0. And you have 2x minus 5 equals 0, so x equals 1, and x equals 5 over 2. Those are the x-coordinates of the points where they intersect. So this is 5 over 2, which is 2.5, and this is x equals 1. So now we've got to uh, find the coordinates of P and Q. So for P, we know x equals 1, because it's the one that's to the left. Okay, so x equals 1, and we know that y is equal to 6 minus x. So y is equal to 6 minus x, therefore y is equal to 5. So the coordinates of p are 1 and 5. And for q, we have 
x equals 5 over 2. So y equals 6 minus x. So y equals 6 minus uh, 5 over 2, which is 3.5. Okay, we can say it's 3.5 or 7 over 2. Um, yeah, 6 minus 2.5 is 3.5. That's right. So that's going to be the coordinates of q are going to be 5 over 2 and 7 over 2. Or we can say 2.5. And 3.5 if you want, same thing. Okay, so those are the coordinates of P and Q. Um, using algebra, we found those coordinates. And that's the answer to part A of question number four. Now we're going to go on to part B. Now part B says, so we know the coordinates of P were 1 and 5. And the coordinates of Q were 2.5 and 3.5. Or, or we can say, we can say, uh, 5 over 2 and 7 over 2. Okay, now, it says use inequality. So the region R shaded in figure 1 is bounded by C, the curve, L, this straight line, and the x-axis. Use inequalities to define the region R. So we can see here that the region R is when we are, well, when x is greater than um, or equal to 0, have a straight we have a so these are solid lines so x is greater than or equal to zero okay sorry not x y we're talking about this is y equals zero this line here is y equals zero the x-axis so when y is greater than or equal to zero that's one inequality and the second inequality would be when it's below the line okay and the line the equation of the line was x plus y the equation of that line was x plus y equals six Okay, so this line is, I'll write down the equation, x plus y equals 6. And the curve, its equation was um, y equals 6x minus 2x squared plus 1. So the curve, y equals 6x minus 2x squared um, plus 1. Plus 1, okay. So now, y is greater than or equal to 0 is going to give the region above this line. And it's below the, the line x plus y equals 6. So it's x plus y is less than or equal to 6. Okay, that's also describes this region below the line. And it's above this curve. So the third inequality would be y is greater than or equal to 6x minus 2x squared plus 1. Now that defines this region here, but it also defines this region here. Okay, so this region here is not shaded. Okay, this region here is not shaded. This is also above the, 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 the x-axis, which is y is greater than or equal to 0. It's also below x plus y equals 6, and it's also above the curve. Above the curve. So we have to eliminate this from our, um, you know, our answer. So we have to mention here that, for example, we could say x is greater than um, or equal to this value of Q, which was, it was 2.5. That was one, yeah. So X is greater than equal to 2.5. We can mention any X value greater than this here, actually. Okay. I could mention from 1. If I put X is greater than equal to 1, then it means anything that's above this, above, uh, you know, further away from this, and below the line and above the curve. This this region won't be included here because it's below it's below the curve, okay. So it won't be included until we get to this point here. So any, if I write x is greater than or equal to one, any value between one and two point five, x is greater than or equal to that value. It would it would basically, um, you know, basically not include anything except for the shaded region that's shown. So it would be valid. So these are the four conditions for us to have R shaded. These are four inequalities which define the region R and nothing else. If I exclude this fourth one, then I would have to also, this would also have been shaded because it fulfills these conditions. So I must mention this fourth one here to just have R itself alone shaded. Okay, so there's the answer to question four, part B. And that concludes this question um, and other questions from this paper, P 
January 2022 can be found in the playlist that should appear in this area over here. Other questions from this topic of uh, quadratics and inequalities can be found in the playlist that should appear in this section over here. And you can subscribe to my channel by clicking on this link. Thank you for watching and see you soon.